The results of three recent grants were shown off this past Friday at Heartland Forest. A Canada 150 grant from Tree Canada led to the planting of several maple and white pine trees. Additional funding from the Community Foundation of Canada and the Niagara Community Foundation led to the construction of this early settler's cabin. Obviously there was a limited number of grants that were available across Canada and we're so thankful that for all three of these that Heartland was chosen. Uh, I think it says a lot for our passion here. Obviously it's environmental stewardship, but there's also this, uh, um, our all abilities, all ages, and everyone's welcome here at Heartland. And I think we really stand uh, apart from with because of that special passion that we have. The maple and white pine trees will add to the over 82 million trees that Tree Canada has planted since they formed in 1992. Yeah, so one of my favourite things about working this job with Tree Canada is being able to see these visions come to life. I get all of these projects in as pieces of paper and to be able to see the project run through from beginning to end and actually be able to be here today. It's incredible the impact that these trees have, not only on the community, the environment, everybody that's involved. Today's celebration began with a smudging ceremony and traditional First Nations prayer. Well, I think the fact that this is a celebration of 150 years of Canada and the fact that they included the Indigenous people um, already goes a long way to breaking down some of the walls and stereotypes. Um, again, the plantings of the maple tree and in particular the white pine. The white pine is a tree of peace and that tradition goes back hundreds of years. Um, it was a bringing together of the five warring nations of the Iroquois uh, communities and it brought them together under a common leader and a common thought process of the white pine being the symbol of, of peace. The Pioneer Cabin will no doubt be an object of curiosity to the kids that visit Heartland Forest. It will also be used by many of our local nature clubs who participate in Heartland Forest programming. I thought, wow, wouldn't that be amazing to be able to show the kids uh, as a starting point. You know, here you are, um, pre-settlement and then post-settlement with our cabin, um, with the early settlers and the struggles that they had to uh, endure and um, how they were relying much more on what their natural surroundings were and uh, had to respect those natural resources because that's what was providing them with life. And Lisa really, she looked at what was happening with Canada 150 and all that there was to celebrate. And she said, you know what, here where our passion is uh, the environment and environmental stewardship, she goes, there's a real tie. She goes, that was happening back uh, 150 years ago. And that's what Heartland should be showcasing, is how the early settlers were really early botanists and uh, et cetera. And so that is, uh, we've been able to build this replica cabin thanks to those two grants. And, to, uh, and that's going to be a whole programming uh, element here now at Heartland Forest. In Niagara Falls, I'm Kendra Dyer, reporting for The Source.